Hello everybody, today we're gonna to be working on making some pixel art in Google Sheets as well as learning some maybe some useful skills in Google Sheets that you didn't know uh, before. So let's get to it. First thing, once you open your Google Sheet, is we wanna resize all these cells to make pixels. So if you click on this little rectangle in between the A and the one in the top left corner, it'll highlight everything. When you have multiple rows or columns highlighted, it adjusts all of them simultaneously. So first thing you wanna do is adjust yours to the pixel size that you would like. And that's good enough for me. I'm gonna work on this size of grid, but uh, if you want more space for your pixels, you can always highlight all these rolls, copy those columns, sorry, copy, and paste that right in, it'll give you some more uh, space. Like I said, I'm going to stick to this grid here. Next thing we're going to learn about is conditional formatting. And the first thing we're going to do is create a little color legend that we can work from. I'm going to just use three colors for this tutorial, one, two, three, but you can use as many uh, or as few as you would like. Next to that, I'm going to place the color that I want that number to represent. So let's pick some nice classic colors. How about red? Maybe some blue. And what about pink? Is that pink? Magenta, yeah, let's let's go with magenta. Those, those look fine to me. Okay, so these are just for our reference. And now we are gonna do conditional formatting. For that, you're gonna highlight an area. Now you can keep going down forever, but we're just gonna stick to the area that we're likely to use here. And I have all this selected. I'm going to go to Format and Conditional Formatting. Here's the range of cells this is going to apply to. That's C1 all the way to Z23. And here's where we're going we're gonna to put in our condition. So Format Cells If. We have Is Empty, Is Not Empty. I'm going to say Text Is Exactly. And what I want to test for is one, the number one. So if a cell has number one, this rule is going to apply. And the formatting style that we want is going to match that color. I'm going to make that red, and I'm going to also make the text color red so they blend in together. So I'll click Done. And now I have a formatting rule that applies to these cells that says if I put one, as a value in the cell, it's going to convert that square, that pixel uh, to be red. And this is how you can kind of quickly um, fill in cells for your pixel art. For the rest of your colors, you're going to want to make rules as well. Uh, oh, that's not the range I want. Let's make sure we have the right range. And I'm going to add that rule right here. And I'm just going to copy that so I can help myself next time. This time, I'm going to check if the text is exactly two. And I'm going to make those cells blue to match uh, what my color legend is. Let's make a third rule here. Looks like I already have those cells applied. I'm gonna check if that text is exactly three. And we are going to make the text color and the background color magenta. And here we have our conditional format rules. Now that those are applied, we can make any combination of these colors that we want. That's how you set up your Google Sheets. For your pixel art project, feel free to make anything you want. Here are just a few examples I found online to motivate and inspire you. Be creative, have fun. Google Sheets is your world. Peace.